the Champions League returned with a bang on match day two. Fans across the globe were treated to another thrilling round of fixtures. The marquee matchup saw Arsenal host Paris Saint-Germain at the Emirates Stadium. This clash of European giants promised a tense and exciting encounter. Meanwhile, other notable matches included Bayern Munich's trip to Barcelona and Real Madrid's home game against Napoli. Match Day 2 always brings a heightened sense of anticipation. Teams are eager to build on their opening results. The pressure intensifies as clubs aim to secure their place in the knockout stages. The Champions League never fails to deliver drama. This year is proving no different. The atmosphere at the Emirates was electric. Arsenal fans were in full voice, hoping to see their team continue their impressive start to the season. PSG, with their star-studded lineup, were determined to make a statement. The stage was set for a memorable night of European football. The Emirates Stadium witnessed a footballing masterclass. Arsenal delivered a scintillating performance, dismantling PSG by a score of 4-1. The Gunners were relentless in attack, tearing apart the PSG defense with their pace and precision. Bukayo Saka was the star of the show, bagging a brace and putting on an attacking clinic. PSG, despite boasting the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Ousmane Dembélé, were outplayed in every department. They struggled to cope with Arsenal's high press and were constantly on the back foot. Mbappe managed to grab a consolation goal, but it was a mere footnote in a dominant Arsenal display. The match lived up to its billing as a clash of titans. Arsenal's victory sent a message to the rest of Europe. They are a force to be reckoned with. PSG, on the other hand, were left to ponder their shortcomings. The pressure will be on manager Luis Enrique to regroup his team. The Emirates crowd barely had time to settle into their seats before the goals started flowing. Arsenal drew first blood in the 18th minute. Gabriel Martinelli, in electrifying form, latched onto a through ball from Martin Odegaard and calmly slotted the ball past Gianluigi Donnarumma in the PSG goal. PSG, stunned by the early goal, tried to respond. However, Arsenal's defense, marshaled superbly by William Saliba, stood firm. The Gunners doubled their lead just before the half-hour mark. Bukayo Saka, a constant threat down the right flank, cut inside and unleashed an unstoppable shot into the top corner. The Emirates was rocking. Arsenal fans, sensing a famous victory, were in dreamland. PSG, shell-shocked by the two-goal deficit, looked a shadow of their usual selves. The first half belonged to Arsenal. Their high-octane attacking football had ripped PSG apart. Arsenal's attacking duo of Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli ran riot against PSG. Saka, a constant menace down the right wing, tormented the PSG defense with his pace, trickery, and precise crossing. He capped off a scintillating performance with two goals and an assist. Martinelli, deployed on the left, was equally impressive. His direct running and clinical finishing caused PSG problems all night. He opened the scoring for Arsenal and was a constant thorn in the side of the PSG backline. The combination play between Saka and Martinelli was a joy to behold. Their understanding and movement were too much for the PSG defense to handle. They were ably supported by Martin Odegaard, who dictated the tempo of the game from midfield. Arsenal's attacking display was a testament to the work of manager Mikel Arteta. Section 5, Mbappé's brilliance, a lone star for PSG. Kylian Mbappé, despite PSG's heavy defeat, showcased his world-class talent. He was a constant threat to the Arsenal defense, using his blistering pace and trickery to create chances. He grabbed a consolation goal for PSG in the second half, a moment of individual brilliance that reminded everyone of his extraordinary ability. However, even Mbappé's brilliance could not inspire a PSG comeback. He was often isolated up front, starved of service from his teammates. The absence of Neymar, out injured, was keenly felt. PSG lacked the creative spark and cutting edge that the Brazilian usually provides. Mbappe cut a frustrated figure throughout the match. He was often seen gesturing to his teammates, urging them to raise their game. But it was to no avail. Arsenal were simply too good on the night. Mbappe's performance, while impressive, was overshadowed by the overall dominance of Arsenal. Section 6. Tactical Masterclass Arteta Outclasses Enrique Mikel Arteta, the Arsenal manager, deserves immense credit for his tactical masterclass. His game plan worked to perfection. Arsenal's high press stifled PSG's attempts to build from the back, forcing them into costly errors. The Gunners' midfield trio of Odegaard, Declan Rice, and Kai Havertz controlled the tempo of the game, dictating play and creating chances for the forwards. Luis Enrique, the PSG manager, was left scratching his head. His team, usually so comfortable in possession, looked out of sorts. Their passing was sloppy, and they were constantly on the back foot. Enrique's decision to field a back four, rather than his usual back three, backfired. It left PSG exposed at the back, 
and Arsenal exploited those spaces ruthlessly. The tactical battle between Arteta and Enrique was fascinating to watch. In the end, it was Arteta who emerged victorious. His Arsenal team outplayed PSG in every department, a testament to his tactical acumen and the hard work of his players. Section 7, Second Half Fireworks, Arsenal holds strong. The second half began with PSG showing more urgency. They were desperate to get back into the game. However, Arsenal's defense held firm, repelling everything that PSG threw at them. William Saliba, in particular, was immense at the back, making crucial interceptions and tackles. Arsenal weathered the storm and continued to threaten on the counterattack. Bukayo Saka completed his brace in the 65th minute, finishing off a flowing team move. Eddie Nketiah added a fourth goal laid on, capitalizing on a defensive error. Mbappé's goal, a stunning solo effort, was merely a consolation for PSG. The final whistle sparked wild celebrations amongst the Arsenal faithful. Their team had just produced a performance of real quality, outclassing one of the best teams in Europe. For PSG, it was a night to forget. They were taught a harsh lesson in Champions League football. Section 8. Echoes of Match Day 2 Bayern stumbles, Real Madrid dominates. Elsewhere in the Champions League, Bayern Munich suffered a shock defeat away to Barcelona. The Catalan giants, inspired by a brace from Robert Lewandowski, ran riot against the German champions. Real Madrid continued their impressive start to the campaign with a comfortable victory over Napoli. Match Day 2 served as a reminder that the Champions League is full of surprises. No team can afford to take their foot off the gas. The race for the knockout stages is heating up. The results from Match Day 2 will have sent shockwaves across Europe. Bayern Munich's defeat will have given hope to their rivals. Real Madrid's dominant display will have sent a message to the rest of the competition. The Champions League is wide open. Section 9. Champions League Landscape Early Favorites Emerge After two rounds of matches, several teams have emerged as early favorites for the Champions League crown. Real Madrid, with their blend of experience and young talent, look formidable. Manchester City under Pep Guardiola are always a threat. Arsenal's statement victory over PSG has put them firmly in the mix. However, it is still early days in the competition. The Champions League is a marathon, not a sprint. The form of teams can change quickly. The next few match days will be crucial in shaping the destiny of the competing teams. The pressure will be on the early pace setters to maintain their form. The chasing pack will be determined to close the gap. The Champions League never fails to deliver excitement. This season is proving no different. Section 10. Looking ahead. Match Day 3 promises more drama. Match Day 3 of the Champions League promises another round of fascinating fixtures. Real Madrid will face a tricky test away to AC Milan. Bayern Munich will be desperate to bounce back from their defeat to Barcelona when they host Manchester City. Arsenal will travel to Italy to take on Inter Milan. The Champions League never disappoints. Fans can expect more drama, more goals, and more upsets. The race for the knockout stages is well and truly on. The Champions League is the pinnacle of club football. It brings together the best players and the best teams in Europe. The competition is fierce, the stakes are high, and the margins for error are slim. Match Day 3 promises to be another memorable chapter in the Champions League story. Section 11. The beautiful game Champions League never disappoints. The Champions League is a celebration of everything that is great about football. It showcases the passion, the skill, and the drama of the beautiful game. From the roar of the crowd to the brilliance of the players, the Champions League never fails to captivate audiences worldwide. The competition brings together people from all walks of life, united by their love of football. It is a reminder that sport has the power to transcend boundaries and bring people together. The Champions League is more than just a football tournament. It is a global phenomenon. The Champions League is a testament to the enduring appeal of football. It is a competition that continues to capture the imagination of millions around the world. Long may it continue.